and that's going to do it. Two more points, and their ticket is now officially punched. For the 13th straight season, the Pittsburgh Penguins are headed to the Stanley Cup playoffs. You said 13 straight years you guys have made the playoffs. Quite the streak you guys have put together. Yeah, I played a win. I played a win championship. So, uh, we had a great year this year, and we move on here to the playoffs. But uh, this is a fun time now. All right, Sid, as always, thanks for the time. See you in the playoffs. OK, sounds good. Thanks. The Penguins make the Stanley Cup playoffs for the first time since 2001. It's so fun to play in these games that are meaning something, you know, it speaks volume of the organization and shows they're doing a lot of things the right way and speaks to the guys in the room, and especially the core guys that have been here a while, how successful they've been. It was Evgeny Malkin in 2009. It is his running mate and Captain Sidney Crosby tonight. Well, they're generational talents. They've been the common denominator that's run through the team over the last decade plus. There's an expectation of excellence and you feel it every day. I think it starts with the ownership and it trickles down from there. You know, the hockey ops department is terrific. We obviously have quality players and everybody has a responsibility to live up to that. When you see that type of a milestone, it really is a reflection of the professionalism of the total organization. This is Mike Lang along with the old two-niner Phil Bork as the Pittsburgh Penguins prepare for a great divisional matchup here. The Caps have run the way up to the top of the ladder. They're on a seven-game winning streak right now. Tonight, we've got a couple of players on the verge of major milestones, including Evgeny Malkin, two points away from 1,000 in his career. Let's go, guys. Pocket pick by McCann toward the net. Pass across. Score! McCann to Getzel. Well, I have seen it before, but I never get tired of this. Superstars in action. Three goals in less than two minutes. That's point number 999, Mikey. Yeah! He's one away from 1,000. Yeah! If you don't have goosebumps, then you don't have a pulse right now. The Pittsburgh Penguins select Eugenie Nuff. I think Gino is arguably one of the most talented players of his generation, and 1,000 points speaks to that talent. When you look at his last 10, 12 years playing in the league, I don't know that there's a player that's more dynamic or more explosive than Gino is. Gino always wants to be on the ice. When he wants to go on the ice, he stands up on the bench. Gino! We play power play, and I pass the throws, and he shoots. This moment, like, where is Park? Johnson drives, save a rebound, score! Phil Kessel! We, like, go to, like, celebrate goal, and I ask somebody touch, because I think, like, maybe, like, somebody in front touch and, like, sit, like, he touch Park, and I don't have a seat, you know, and sit say no, and, like, they start, like, giving me, like, good words, and, like, congrats, well done, you know? I think so much about tons of points, but when I like done, you know, like I don't have emotion, you know, I'm just like, okay, like, yeah, hey, I'm done, okay. I want to say thank you to fans, you know, they did a great job, they give me like great, uh, like, ovations. I'm close to crying, you know, like, everyone stand up, you know, like, they just give me love. victorious here tonight. It's a great win. Congrats, Gino, on a thousand points. Great win, boys, but gee, a thousand. Oh, 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 Thank you, guys. It's all yours. No, it's all yours. The last couple of weeks, uh, a little bit nervous, you know, it's like going a little bit slow, but it's like finally like over a thousand and like I uh, breathe normally and um, Thank you, my teammates. It's like, of course, a special day for my uh, family, my friends, you know. Play hockey all my life, you know. It's like uh, amazing to be here, and uh, yeah, it's absolutely amazing night for me. It's one best night for my life. Do you want to do it in front of yourself? Perfect. That's buddy. That's awesome. Get, it. get one with Phil, eh? He said he was going to get it, too. Hey, he called that. You know, a thousand points is crazy. I feel like we have milestones every night on this team. It's a lot of fun to be a part of and we're all excited for him.
thousand points, you know, and I'm still looking to get to 100 here. So he's a special player. He's obviously, you know, one of the best to play the game. And I'm just trying to learn as much as I can from him. For my family and my friends, it's like a huge moment. Feels so it's like for my parents, like they like fly to Russia to US for this moment, you know. My wife, my son, see feel there, come to me, like to my family, Mario here, you know, it's like best like moment in my life for, for sure, like we together and it's like one family. After back-to-back -back losses on home ice, the Penguins now take their act on the road for the next week. Penguins are going to play this one without Evgeny Malkin, as we know, week to week with an upper body injury. With no Evgeny Malkin, you know who I'm going to look to? I know you think I'm going to say the captain. No, I'm not. Phil Kessel, that's who I'm looking for. Not only does he pass Craig Adams with his 320th consecutive game, that will be a new Penguin record. It's also his 766th consecutive game. It cannot be stated enough how big that is. Over, over! Phil, Phil! You said with the shot, that was disrupted off the post! One coming, one coming! That's a good play, Teddy. Ball to the slot, a chance, McGinney scores! You want me to take it? How are you doing? Half, half and half. Hey, middle, middle, middle! Coming, boys, it's coming! Crosby gets it back. Good feet. Gensel there. Dudes, he scores! Oh my God, I got set. I got set. Come on. Jake Gensel with Russ to the middle. Russ right there. Yes! Yeah! He's got it! Stall against Crosby, the former teammates, back up high, buttering some of the rebound score! So unfortunately, this familiar feeling for the Penguins back again. Another late lead evaporates. Terabyte, a one-time pass. Oh, the throttle was caught! It was going, it was going! Did you see that replay? Episode 10 of the Highmark Coaches Show on the airwaves right now. Thanks for being along for the ride with us. We're here in Nashville, Tennessee, a second stop on a four-game road trip, which began last night. How did you see things playing out against Carolina as far as how that one went overall? Well, I thought it was a really good effort by our team, and that's what I told our guys after the game. I thought we played real hard against a real good Carolina team, and it's disappointing, but all we could do as a coaching staff is try to look at the different ways that we've been scored against late in the games lately. There are some instances where we can be better, and we need to have more awareness and defend harder in certain areas. There are other instances where there's a little bit of puck luck that's involved, but that's hockey, so we've got to move by it. We've got to get ready for the next game. them it's an emotional game I think it stems from the Stanley Cup series that we had against them but I don't think our team with some of the veteran leadership that we have have any sort of reservations playing in hostile environments I think they embrace it quite honestly and there's a lot of fun buildings we're going into here on this trip we're playing against some pretty good teams it's not a bad thing to be on the road and be together here down the stretch these are important games for us and we're all well aware of them. a goal here keeps the Preds alive a save by Murray wins it it's Boyle, in on goal, shoot, stopped by Murray, Penguins win! Victory number 40 on the season, 2 on the final. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, with the quarter clap right here. Heads up, Oli! Do you know the Baby Shark song? <laughs> I smoked Oli. I hit him right in the back of the shoulder. <laughs> Heads up. Coming in hot. Oh, when Matt gets tired, I need you to go in there, okay? Uh, rule number one. 
Don't hit your goalie coach. Heads up. You want to get rid No, oh, good foot. Did you do my move? Yeah. I could do a full double angle if you want. Tell me you go a little block on the side. I don't know that. You sure? Yeah. At least give him a chance. Hey. Oh! Be ready for it. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? <laughs> you owe me a Coke. Okay. Get this thing out of here. Pittsburgh skates into American Airlines Center to face off with the Stars. The overall team game has been trending upward the last couple of weeks. Let's go, Pay! Let's go! Get up, get up, Dewey! That's you, Dewey, corner! Go, go! Erica Branson, a right wing for Kessel, turns it over. Wes Barat's working and shoots one right pad save by Matt Murray. Jake saving the beauty. Definitely heard my legs screaming last show. Castle holding yeah. and shooting. It's back over Kessel. He scores! Get some more catering in you. Stay up, stay up! Hey! Now the can to the far side of the Branson. A shot, he scores! But it's immediately waved right. off. Cabranson, a slapper from the far circle. Contact was made on Hudobin, and the Penguins are not going to take the lead. Oh, I'm cursed, man. I'm cursed. This Penguins penalty kill, the best in the NHL on the road. Out to center, it's Teddy Bluger, chipping the puck to himself. Short-handed Bluger coming on the attack, gives it to McCann. Right circle, curling, dragging, Ooh. shooting, scoring! What a play! Jared McCann, a shorty! Oh, I love shorty! I love shorty! That was nice. Woo -hoo. So, how do you do? Yeah, boys. We're starting to come together as a team. I can feel it. I can feel it. But we've got to make sure we keep the momentum here, okay? Success breeds success, and when you win games, everyone's confidence increases, and there's a good feeling around the team. There's a good vibe around the team. We can feel it. You can sense it. We just got to make sure that we keep it. We've got to keep our swagger. We've got to continue to do the things that have brought us success. And as long as we do that, we're going to be fine. D'Angelo, hard pass. And a drive by Letary. He scores. The Penguins are flat. And they're quickly down 2-0 to the New York Rangers. They need somebody to light a fire under their backside. Obviously, this team has had a history of turning it up in the postseason and right before the postseason. I think it's important to have that confidence, have that momentum. Playing on the road is tough to do sometimes, but as a whole, we did pretty well. Yeah, Cully! Top cheese, short side, and a baby! Penalty coming up, Blueberry in front, score! Another short-handed goal as Bluger hits Painter. Mike, how would you characterize this road trip, and do you feel the team starting to maybe hit its stride? Well, I think it was a great road trip. I'm trying to do the math, I think we got seven out of eight. I really like how our team is trending. I think we're playing hard. I think we're playing together. I think we're becoming a team. Looking forward to this one, the Penguins and the Nashville Predators. As we mentioned, they matched up just over a week ago back at Bridgestone Arena in Nashville. This is one of the few times that you have a crossover from conference to conference, and two teams hate each other as much as the Pens and the Preds hate each other. Look out for the fireworks tonight. We're just trying to get better every day, and so we're trying to refine our game, and we'll take each experience, and we'll learn from that experience. And so. That's the process, and I don't think as a team you ever arrive. I think we're always striving to be better in some way, shape, or form, and that's just the reality of what we do. Pens and the Canes set to do battle here for the final time this regular season at PPG Paints Arena. You can expect, as we did the other night against Nashville, a low-scoring, tight-checking, you know, playoff-type atmosphere. Let's go! Come on, Mary. Hey, Here comes the Hornquist, right wing circle, snap shot, save made, McElhaney. Back in front it comes and it bounces to the near side. Have you ever seen like this? 
He's going here. Pass to Cullen, a centering feed. Wilson looking yeah, for Johnson as yeah. well. It's in, they score! Adam Johnson got the secondary assist on that goal. Congratulations to him, his first career NHL point. AJ! Right, buddy, congrats. Awesome, buddy. Good stuff. Oh, Patrick. Myself. I was going hard, boys. Come on, come on. Put it there for me, Cully. You're a fing shooter today. Here comes Come Cullen on. as a man, Matta down the left wing. Cullen, right wing circle, shoots, scores! Woo! Matt Cullen, how about two from the fourth line? Boys. It's 2 nothing Penguins. Go, go, go! Come on, boys, come on! Moved along by Dominic Simone. Near wing from a tough angle, centering pass, Horkwitz, scores! Ah! Ah! Right. What happened? What a play by Simone, and then the finish from Patrick Hornquist. Hey. Looks easy, Mo. Things are trending in the right direction for a team that's playing their best hockey at the right time of the season. It was a playoff test, and the Penguins pass with flying colors. That's a pretty good team. We got some separation now. I think we're four points ahead of them with three games to go. So we're right there. We're knocking on the door. We've we got to get one more for sure, OK? So it's, it's a hell of an effort by everybody. Uh, great game. Good win, Muzz. Big saves there, but game winner, Cully. Yeah. Way to go, boys. Way to go. The Penguins had three games left in the regular season, and with one more win, they would secure their 13th straight postseason berth, which would be the longest active streak in the NHL and second longest amongst major pro sports teams in America. From the start of the season, it's an absolute grind, and every point literally matters as far as making the playoffs and winning. I think that's just an attitude, and this group here has done it quite a bit, so we got to find a way to clinch it here. Let's go, let's go. I got Cindy. There it is. Andreas Athanasiu with speed in the Penguin zone, puts on the brakes, cuts it on the forehand, a shot could not get it off. Is your six side. Flying in is Dylan Larkin. Larkin, a good pass. Athanasiu looking, going back door, Murray! How did he do it? Oh! You can't see it. They don't know if it's up on end or not, right? It was determining that the puck completely crossed the goal line. Crosby charges on in with two on one. Castle pass across. Castle eight scores! Yeah, no. Good play, good play. Well, there's that speed. Nobody talks about how fast these guys are. 3-1 wins. Come on here, board on, heads up. Go, go, go. Oh, you're strong. Hey. Trotman fires cross ice for Bukestad at the far circle. Wrist shot, glove, save. Down low, the Penguins have it. Bukestad works out with it. A shot off the outside of the net. What? Uh, uh. And now Cronwall picks it up for Detroit, finds Bertuzzi, swings it across for Mantha, looking for the empty net. He's got it. We can't be frustrated. It's a useless emotion at this point. We've got to make sure that we get ready for the next one and that's the mindset that we have to have. You know, we've been in a playoff mode here for three weeks, four weeks. Nothing's changed in that regard. We still have to solidify a playoff spot. We gotta be ready for the next game. The next game was against the same opponent. And once again, the Penguins had a chance to clinch their spot in the playoffs. Oh yeah, oh, I love it. Use your legs. Nice! Oh! Oh! Bonus! Dom got three. Dom hot today. Oh! <laughs> Last one! Last one! Yeah! Shot there. Everybody off today. Big game, everybody off. Ready for tonight. Good work, guys. Good job, Marcus. See you later. Good work. Get off. No, that way. That way. I gotta like we're, we're gonna drag you off. <laughs> like these tell them to get off and they don't. Please welcome your Pittsburgh Penguin! You got Kenny Malkin, you got Crystal Tank back. We got the band back together, man. Hey, morning. 
Go, go, go on him! Let's hang a drive and stop on the rebound. Howard makes a great stop on Bukestad. That was unbelievable. All I could see was wide open net. Fellas, one shift. Off the scramble, yeah, moved hey. ahead. Hornquist has a breakaway. Patrick Hornquist all alone. Stopped by Howard on the second try. Hey. Get out of here, you're the first. I'm not. I'm not. Zerry pass in front, score! Getzel! Wait, you're f***ing skating, keep going here! Keep it simple, right, baby? When you've got that much skill on the ice, take what is given and get the puck at the net. For the 13th straight season, the Pittsburgh Penguins are headed for the Stanley Cup playoffs. Congratulations, we just solidified a playoff spot. Really good. We'll, we'll figure out, based on how the games go, what, what kind of opportunity we have moving forward here with the last game. Game down there, 81, but I gotta give her to this guy. He was... That's 13 straight playoff appearances for this franchise. Can you put it into perspective just how impressive that is? You know, we have difference makers through our lineup. We have depth in all of our positions. We have outstanding goaltending. And so I believe this group is capable of great things. Getzel, he scores! And it's 40 for Jake Getzel! The fact that this organization has had the long-standing success that they've had is a reflection of their leadership. It's a privilege to work for this organization. It's kind of crazy to have a chance to play for the Stanley Cup. You watch that your whole life growing up, and like even the last couple of years, anytime you watch like the cup being raised, you almost get emotional. Woo! It's what you play for, so make day by day goals and try to get to the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal is 16 wins away. What it takes to get there is the culmination of a year's worth of work. The road will be difficult. The obstacles will be many. But the chance to do something great? Well, that's what they play for. <laughs> I used to do this when I was at school with my teammates. So I wanted to do this for Gensi last night, but he fell asleep. Took Oli's head and put Jake's face on it. Thought they had similar skin complexion, which makes it easier, but do you have Ole's face on Jake's head or just? No, I could do that though. As you can see, the final result is a creature. I don't know. I'm definitely going to have to delete this one.